my saying is if it's important to you, hire a coach. And I think that's one of the reasons people are not successful is they, you know, they, they eat a cheeseburger instead of hiring a coach, you know what I mean? And so uh, my coach pushes me, they're younger than me. They push harder. They're, they're trained. And um, as my rich dad always said, you know, amateurs don't have a coach, but professionals always have coaches. So I've always had coaches for whatever was important. And you know, my, my rich dad was one of those persons. I wanted to learn uh, how to play Monopoly in real life. So he was my coach. All right, Thrive Nation, on today's show, I want to talk uh, with you. I want to have a little private conversation between you and me and them and everybody listening and with a, a longtime client by the name of David Frazier. He runs a company called Bunky Life. And what we're going to talk about today is the importance of having a coach. Now, somebody out there, you might uh, want to get in great shape. True story. True story. I have four friends this year, four friends. I wish I had more, more than four friends, but I have four friends this year that have lost over 40 pounds by hiring a coach. Four. Four. So one of my good friends, he's really been trying to lose almost 100 pounds. He hired a trainer, and I'm not kidding. I, he's a great friend of mine, but we do our conference calls over the phone. So I saw him in person. I go, man, you look great. And he says, yeah, dude, I'm down 90 pounds. I'm going 90 pounds. What? You know, but he's got this trainer. Another example, friend of mine, uh, chronic, he had chronic inflammation, chronic pain. He goes, finds a trainer down 40 pounds. Uh, and I, I go on and on these examples, but it wasn't that the, that the, the person who hired the trainer wasn't smart. It wasn't that they were lazy. It's that they needed somebody to meet them in the gym and to push them. And I don't care whether you're growing a business or you're growing, you're improving your health, any area of your life where you want to improve, you need some kind of mentor or some kind of coach. And I'm just being very real with you about the coaches that I have in my life for all my legal things, all my legal stuff. I use a company called wintersking.com, wintersking.com, Winters and King, the law firm. Well, why do I have a legal coach if I'm a good at business? Well, it's because I don't look at all of the laws, all the changing legislation, and I want to have somebody who does look at that. I want to have someone who's a specialist in that area who advises me. You say, well, why do you have an accounting firm? Why do I work with CCK, the accounting firm? Oh, if, if you're so good at business, why do you have an accountant uh, that helps coach you? Well, I do it because that, that's their job is to look for tax write-offs, to make sure I'm paying the right amount of taxes, to make sure I'm proactively looking at the tax code. So any area of your life where you're looking to have growth, I would submit that you need to have a coach. And here to talk about it is the founder of BunkyLife.com, David Frazier. Welcome on to the Thrive Time Show. How are you, sir? I'm doing fantastic, Clay. Thank you so much for having me. So I got to ask you real quick here for the listeners out there that don't know, and I'll pull up your website. Um, we've had the opportunity to, to work with you here for this past year, and, and there's been a lot of um, success that you've seen. But I'd love for you to share with the listeners out there, what made you uh, decide that you wanted maybe a mentor or a, an ongoing business coach to help you grow BunkyLife.com? So um, for me, it was just that I ultimately wanted to grow. So my thoughts are, I mean, how much, are, how much are you going to pay? It's either going to be a, a, the cost of, of trying to figure out in your own trial and error, or are you going to pay someone else who's been there and done that? And I'd rather just pay the bid there, done that price, as opposed to the trial and error price, which is a lot more expensive. So um, I've had a business coach for, I think about 10 years and I've been on with, with you specifically for about a year and a half, maybe now. So, um, you know, there's a there's been a graduation of different coaches I've had over the years. Actually, I think three or four now. But um, every I've learned a lot from every one, and as we've grown. I've kind of need to grow what I spend on coaching as well. So, to, can you tell the listeners out there what kind of uh, fruit um, have you seen um, since you began uh, business coaching with us? Because you know, I hear every morning, every single morning, literally every morning, we have a coaches meeting. So I think maybe our listeners know that, maybe they don't, but all the coaches, uh, we all have a weekly, or we have a, actually a daily meeting. And what I do in that meeting is I ask the simple question, is the client who's paying us bringing in more money than they're paying us? Just very clear. I mean, this is, I ask it every single day. So with 160 clients that are paying us $1,700 a month, I ask the question every single day. Is there any client that's not bringing in more money than they're paying us? Because that's all I want to do is be an asset and not a liability. And typically, you know, we can produce uh, quite a return on investment, but I want to get your, just your feedback on what kind of results you've been able to see over the past uh, year and a half. So, okay. So 
essentially we're up um, by about 11% on the top line and about 10% of the bottom line year over year. Um, that's just based on, on our financials this year. And last year was our best year ever. So last year was the first year of coaching and it was our best year ever. And then this year looks as if it's going to be about 10 better on the top line and also at the same time 10% better on the lower end. At the same time, uh, I would say I'm putting in probably about the same or even a little less work and my wife is definitely putting in less work. Um, so we've had more free time and more disposable income. So just to be clear, you have more free time and more disposable income. And I think people think that idea is mutually exclusive. Can you explain that? Because again, I go back to fitness. Um, I think about my friend who used to live in the gym all the time. Love the guy. And you'd see, you'd see him and say, how are you doing? I'm just going to make up a name here, but Carl, how are you? He goes, oh man, I'm at the gym killing it. And I go, how'd it go? He's like, oh man, I was in there killing it. And year after year after year, then he hired a coach. Now he claims he's in the gym less than ever, but he's down almost 90 pounds. And I, and you would think those ideas are mutually exclusive. You would think you'd have to be in the gym the most to have the most success. But with the coach now, the coach has him on a specific diet and a, and a specific workout plan where he's in the gym killing the game four days a week, three days a week, he's not in the gym. And he's got this diet he adheres to. And he, he reports to me that he's working out less than ever and he's getting the best results. So can you kind of explain how that works? I think a lot of people think that, you know, with a coach, you'd be working more than ever if you're making more than ever. Yeah, I, I think it was the old saying of Abraham Lincoln, which said, I think the quote was like, you know, if I was going to cut down a tree, I'd spend the first hour sharpening the saw and the last 20 minutes cutting the tree down, I'm paraphrasing a little bit. But if you go at a problem with the right tool or with the right approach, it can be exponentially easier than if you just are, you know, whacking that tree with your bare hands, if that makes sense, or a dull blade. I think that's powerful. And I, I want to get into, I agree with what you said, and I want to mine into that a little bit. So before we met you, you'd already started this company, BunkyLife.com. You'd already done a ton of work to grow the thing, uh, BunkyLife.com. And some of the things that I, I saw from the outside, easy for me to look at, is I noticed that your online reputation wasn't as good as the product. What am I saying? I'm saying people loved your product and you were doing a lot of sales, but there was no online evidence that matched. So let me just give an example. When I do a search for carpet cleaning quotes today, I could say to you, guys, listen, as God is my witness, I've worked with OxyFresh for you know 15 plus years and they have a great service. And I could say that, I could say, with God as my witness, I could say, uh, being straight with you, being honest with you, hundred percent. I guarantee, you know, this is my word. I could say all those things, but at the end of the day, they now have 282,000 Google reviews. And so when you Google search carpet cleaning quotes, they now are blowing up and it's not because I'm a good guy and it's not because their service got better, but they're now bona fide right? People who are not me are finding that search result. Another example, one of my longtime clients, love these guys. I love these guys. Great people. Uh, Kola Fitness. You do a search for Joplin gyms. I think they're a fantastic gym. And I could say to you, I love Kola Fitness. Woo! I think Kola Fitness is great. Woo! I could say they're great people, kind people, nice people. But at the end of the day, they, they, they their, their Google reputation didn't match their quality. So we had to obsess with helping them optimize that online reputation. And now Cold Law Fitness, you do a search for, for uh, Joplin gyms, they come up top in the search result with 11,000 objective Google reviews. They come up again in the top five of the search results. And now they've got video testimonials that are beginning to creep up in the search results, video testimonials that are coming up in the search results. So I felt like when starting with you, that was one thing we needed to, to nip in the bud right away was to go ahead yep. and that the online reputation matched the quality of the Bunky Life products. Can you talk about how that's maybe impacted your business there, sir? Yeah, so we um, we had about 175 star reviews prior to starting together, and we're now at 350. So we doubled that uh, in the course of about a year. Um, and then we also had really no video testimonials to speak of. So now just it's part of our, our routine. I'm actually at a campground right now that what to do there opening ribbon cutting and we're going to get a great testimony of the campground utilizing bunky life um and so just being proactively 
um, you know, the part of that journey is you sell them, you provide a great service, and then you get a review every single time. That that whole um, that whole thing it's just it's now part of our business, and it's really it's uh, like we're f- five times our nearest competitor uh, in terms of reviews, and it just makes a huge difference. Again, if you're not proactive about that, so I'll just give you an example. It, you know that requires work. I mean, you're physically at a place right now at this camp, getting ready to record this. Um, so, a, you have to be aware of it, and then b, you got to have a um, a coach or a mentor to, to kind of steer and push and celebrate the wins and hold people maybe accountable or, or or push or instigate or harass or follow up with or whatever that looks like to make sure it becomes part of the process. How what kind of fruit have you seen? now that you have so many documented video reviews? Well, I just think that so people come in and they, they're calling in, they're already pre-sold. They're saying, oh, well, like I've watched all your videos, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it's just a matter of picking out which funky they want as opposed to prior to that, it might be more like, oh, I'm skeptical, blah. You know, there's, um, uh, we've broken through that whole wall of skepticism because there's just so many people now singing our praises that aren't us. And uh, it makes the sales job easier. It makes the marketing easier. It makes everything just, just, just so much more effective when we've got just, you know, it's not just, you got one testimonial. It's you got, Oh, I, I'm a, I'm a feminist basket weaving artisan. Do you have a buggy that works for me? And I go, well, here's a video of a feminist ba- basket weaving artisan raving about the bunky it just they can relate to that on that level it's so funny but it's so true now also one thing that we work with you on and which is again i just i think it's incredible working with you because um you are actually implementing it so we don't have to have conversations about i didn't have time to do it i don't want to do it i don't like you i don't it's, it's not about opinions and feelings it's about facts is tracking You track. Now, again, that's why I only work Mm -hmm. with 160 clients because the clients that love to track, back to the fitness thing, uh, one of my buddies back in the day is is an unbelievable fitness trainer. He's now moved out of personal training. He's moved more into a gym model. But his rule, this was pretty hardcore. He said if you – because he was an incredible personal trainer, by the way. He said, I'm going to charge you $2,000 a month to work out, and I'm only going to take on 15 clients. And you're going, $2,000 a month? Well, this is how we did it. This is how we did it. I'm telling you, you pay $2,000 a month. You're going to get yourself three wear, three workouts a week. Okay. So it's, you know, 12 white week workouts a, a month and he's not going to apologize for it. And it's like $300 a session. And his whole thing is you will for sure lose weight and feel great, but you're paying two grand a month. You're going to pay two grand a month. And you would go, well, and I, I remember talking to him. I said, so what was your methodology? He says, well, one, you have to log every meal. It's, it's real. Otherwise, I'm going to charge you another 10%. I'm like, you charge people another $200 if they don't log their meal? He's like, well, yeah, because if not, they're not going to do it. I'm going, you got to be kidding me. So he did it was $2,000 a month. And if you don't log your meal, he's going to charge you another 10%. And people, I said, what happens if someone needs to reschedule? He's like, they're still paying for it. I'm not going to reschedule. I'm like, what if they get sick? I'm not going to reschedule. And he had this culture and everybody wanted to work with him because he had results. And he and I were really having a great conversation because he goes, you know, Clay, the people that measure what they treasure, those are the ones that 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 do well. The ones that actually track and they write down what they're eating, those are the ones who have success. But the ones who don't and they kind of willy-nilly, they don't have success. I want to get your thoughts on the power of tracking, the power, the power of measuring, because most business owners by default do not do that. And you've done a phenomenal job of tracking. So – uh, to circle back to the part of the reviews, we didn't really track our reviews for a while there. And part of the we did when we started working together was let's track our five star reviews, and we and we tracked them every week. And then to and they got to the point where, um, you know, we would talk about who got what, and and if it's week, then you feel like a a douchebag if you didn't make it, the needle move in any way. And so we track our sales every week. We even track the number of leads we get every week. We track the number of dollars that flew into the company. Um, and I even track a bunch of other uh, nerdy stuff too that I, on the marketing side. But I love tracking because it's it's such a not conversation six sales, right? As opposed to saying how did we feel about sales? And then people start talking about well the economy. But it's just like no, we had six sales. It's a very easy conversation to have. You can say okay, what would it take to get to twelve sales? And then you start from that frame of reference as opposed to everyone's feelings and thoughts and concerns and excuses. Just talk about numbers. It's a lot easier. 
other aspect of coaching, which I think is incredible. And I'll just, again, I'm praising different coaches that I've had over the years. You know, I have one guy right now in my life. I still pay him uh, to do advisory work with me. And uh, it's, it's very expensive. It's, it's uh, frankly, it's, it's, you know, North of $4,000 a month to, for the services I pay for it. And what happens is, is, you know, having somebody who's never stuck, it's so important. And to have that person in your life that's never stuck. So I'll remember, you know, years ago, I, I was having a hard time telling my staff that we were going to raise prices. This is years ago. We're 15 plus years ago, you know? And it's like the first time I've ever raised prices. I'm raising prices because expenses went up. That doesn't mean everybody gets a raise, you know? Or the first time you have to fire somebody. You got to look an adult man or woman in the eyes who's 40 years old and fire them, you know? Uh, just having somebody who not only can lay out a proven path, but then can kind of guide you through those potholes, um, what sort of a value does that have for you in terms of a coach? Because I, I know for me, I'd read the book about building a workflow or an org chart, and then I would have a hard time getting my my staff to actually follow the org chart. Uh, I would read a book about how to hire top people and then fire people. You know, the problem was I was 22 years old, and a lot of my employees were twice my age. And I'm 22 years old. And again, my employees are double my, think about that dynamic. I'm 22 years old. My employees are double my age. And there's no, like, I didn't know how to do it, you know? And so my mentor at the time, Dr. Zellner, he told me, just tell them it's not working out and then move on. And I'm going, really? That's it? He goes, yeah, you just got to tell them it's not working out and then document Jack Assery, you know, just document it. And I remember going, Wow, that was freeing because I, I just thought it'd be more complicated than that. Can you talk about the value of having uh, somebody just kind of help you through the the soft skills of implementing these these hard ideas? Yeah, I mean, it's except for by going through it. And so you can either learn experience and, and bashing your head against the wall, or you could talk to the guy that's already got the jackhammer on the other side of the wall. And um, in my experience, it's every dollar I spent on coaching has, re has returned to me like 100,000, 10,000 times. And it's not just that. I got there so much faster, right? So it's not just a, a fact that I broke through a ceiling or I, I figured out a problem. It's that I got there six, three months, whatever, faster. So another example, we just took on a short form content video coach. And it was, it was, it was, I spent more on this guy than I spent on my car, right? But we looked at it as like, how long taken us to figure this out? How to, how to frame it all and, and, and what, what, is, what does it even look like to work hard at short form video content? I didn't even know what that looked like three months ago, right? So we hired this guy and uh, we had a, a crazy break. We had a couple of videos go 10 million views uh, as an example. But what I've, what I've ever even gotten there without this coach, probably not. Or if I had, it would have cost me two years of my life banging my head against a wall. And I'm not saying that you need to go and hire a coach for everything. But if it's something you, you want to grow or expand or be more effective at, the best dollar you could spend is already been there, done that, and can predictably get the same results if you put in the work. You know, this weekend, I took my kids to the lake and uh, this just in. I'm not an expert boat, boat parker guy. Like I can, I can park a boat, but if you have to like parallel park a boat, you know, if you have to park it under windy conditions, so I pulled up to the gas station on the water. I pull aside the, the boat guy. He's probably 22 years old, 23 years old, you know? And I said, Hey, can I pay you to park the boat? He says, absolutely. I said, so I can pay to park the boat. I said, he goes, yeah, absolutely. I said, cool. Hey, by the way, where do I go to buy a uh, uh, an infla a tube, you know, for tubing? He says, oh, the best place to go is here. I would have never, through osmosis and through randomness, would have figured out that the best place to buy an inflatable uh, tube for tubing was at this particular store. There is no way I would have known that. And there is no way that I would have known that if you, you you can only park here, your boat for this amount of time because of XYZ123. I spent... 12 bucks, I think, paying the guy for four minutes of work, and he made the whole day great. And I and I, I that's how I operate. That's the mindset I have is if I need somebody to, if I ever get stuck, I just without hesitation hire a coach. What do you say to somebody out there? I mean, we obviously do free consultations here at ThriveTimeShow.com. What do you say to somebody who's, you know, thinking about scheduling a free consultation and they go, free? Why do you have to do a colonoscopy? What, what do you say to somebody who's thinking about doing a, a free consultation, but they're a little bit, um, you know, nervous about scheduling a free consultation? 
I would say, what have you got to lose? If you go and do the free consultation, it's not helpful. You've lost nothing. <laughs> Just absolutely do it. It was, it was a turning point for our business as every single uh, one of our coaching uh, decisions have been. And uh, it's a free 13 point assessment with Clay Clark. You go, you go to thrivetime.com slash something. We'll go to thrivetimeshow.com, but I appre- I appre- you, I don't expect you to memorize our URL. Okay. okay. Well, I'm working on it. Now, I need okay. a higher coach in that area. <laughs> no, you're great. Uh, now, with your particular business, um, we have actually purchased a Bunky Life. And our my plan right now is next time you come to Tulsa, I'm hoping it will be um, installed in the woods. Uh, and so people who come to our in-person workshops, they oftentimes like to stay um, at our property. And so when they like to do that, we have a guest house that we've built. And now I'm adding a cabin in the woods. And I'll, I look to add multiple cabins. And so it's going to be a really neat, neat look there. Um, we have purchased a Bunky Life as well. And I love about them is they really are a bolt-on bedroom. They're very affordable. Um, if you're out there today and you're looking for extra workspace, maybe you're looking for a bolt-on bedroom for your mom and dad. Maybe if you have guests that visit, your mom and dad visit, maybe you have uh, a little office you need to add on. What are the most common reasons why people are buying a bunkylife.com, a bolt-on bedroom and custom cabin there, sir? A lot of times it's, I've got this this house. It's too small. My family's getting bigger. I want my whole extended family and stay. And so it's the bridge and and getting everyone together. David, I appreciate your time. And again, I encourage everybody to go to bunkylife.com. And if you're out there today and you're finding yourself going, I, I Feel stuck. Don't feel stuck. Schedule a free 13 point uh, consultation today at thrivetimeshow.com. David Frazier, you're a great American. I can't wait to see you soon. Okay. Appreciate it. Bye. worthwhile in life you've got to be hungry it's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than to have an opportunity and not be prepared so every day I was working to develop myself and that's what you must do I promise you one thing you have never seen any player in the entire country play as hard as I will play the rest of the season. Get here! Hey, we got 30 minutes! For the rest of our lives! 30 minutes! 30 minutes! For the rest of our lives! There were none before me, and there will be none after me. Therefore, that makes me the one and only. Young and single and love to mingle, certified, bona fide, and dubbly qualified to bring you satisfaction, a whole lot of action. Look out, me, I'm your love man. I was hungry! You gotta be hungry! It's Luke Erickson here with the Thrive Time Show. As you can see behind me, we've got all kinds of energy going on. People are starting to show up for the conference, and it is hot in this place. We got grill guns over here. We've got people playing the drums. We've got a fire breather, and man, people are so excited as they come in. Gentlemen, let me introduce you to the grill gun. Hi, I'm Bob Healy. I'm the inventor of the grill gun and the sous vide gun. Tim Tebow is coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma, June 27th and 28th. We've been doing business conferences here uh, since 2005. I've been hosting business conferences since 2005. And a lot of people, you know, have followed Tim Tebow's football career on the field uh, and off the field. And off the field, the guy's been just as successful as he has been 
on the field. Now, the big question is, JT, how does he do it? Mm, well, they're going to have to come and find out because I don't know. Well, I'm just no. saying, Tip Tebow is going to teach us how he organizes his day, how he organizes his life, how he's proactive with his faith, his family, his finances. He's going to walk us through his mindset that he brings into the gym, into business. It is going to be a blasty blast in Tulsa, Jerusalem. Also, this is the first uh, Thrive Time show event that we've had where we're going to have a man who has built a $100 million net worth. Wow. He'll be presenting. Now, we've had a couple presenters that um, have had a billion dollar net worth mm. um, in some like real estate sort of things. Yeah. But this is the first time we We've had a guy who's built a service business and he's built over a hundred million dollar net worth in the service business. It's the yacht driving, uh, multi-state living guru of franchising. Peter Taunton will be in the house. This is the founder of Snap Fitness, the guy behind Nine Round Boxing. He's going to be here in Tulsa, Jerusalem, Tulsa, Jerusalem, Oklahoma, June 27th and 28th. JT, why should everybody want to hear what Peter Taunton has to say? Oh, because he's incredible. He's just a fountain of knowledge. He is awesome. He has uh, inspired me listening to him talk. And not only that, he also has, uh, he practices what he teaches. So he's a real teacher. He's not a fake teacher like business school teachers. So you got to come learn from him. And now the best-selling author of The Carnivore Diet and the multiple-time Joe Rogan guest, Dr. Sean Baker, joins our two-day interactive business growth and life optimization workshop. Also, let me tell you this, folks. I don't want to get this wrong because if I get it wrong, um, someone's going to say, you screwed that up, buddy. So Michael <laughs> Levine, this is Michael Levine. He's going to be coming. You say, Who, who's Michael Levine? I don't want to get this wrong. This is the PR consultant of choice for Michael Jackson, wow. for Prince, wow. for Nike, for mm -hmm. Charlton Heston, for Nancy mm -hmm. Kerrigan, 34 Grammy Award winners, 43 New York Times bestselling authors he's represented, including... Pretty much everybody you know who's been a super celebrity. This is Michael Levine, a good friend of mine. He's going to come and talk to you about personal branding and the mindset needed to be super successful. The lineup will continue to grow. We have hit Christian recording artist Colton Dixon in the house. Now, people say, Colton Dixon's in the house? Yes, Colton Dixon's in the house. So if you like top 40 Christian music, Colton Dixon's going to be in the house performing. The lineup will continue to grow each and every day. We're going to add more and more speakers to this all-star lineup. But I encourage everybody out there today get those tickets today go to thrivetimeshow.com again that's thrivetimeshow.com and some people might be saying well how do i do it what do i do how does it work you just go to thrivetimeshow.com let's go there now we're feeling the flow we're going to thrive Thrive Show. thrivetimeshow.com again you just go to thrivetimeshow.com you click on the business conferences button and you click on the request tickets button right there um the way i do our conferences is we tell people it's 250 dollars to get a ticket yep or whatever price that you could afford and the reason why I do that is I grew up without money. Uh, JT, you're in the process of building a super successful company. Um, yep. Did you start out with a million dollars in the bank account? No, I did not. Nope, did not get any loans, nothing like that. Did not get an inheritance from parents or anything like that. I had to work for it, and I, uh, I'm super grateful I came to a business conference. That's actually how I met you, met Peter Taunton. I met all these people. So if you're out there today and you want to come to our workshop, again, you just got to go to thrivetimeshow.com. You might say, well, when's it going to be? June 27th and 28th. You might say, well, who's speaking? We already covered that. You might say, where's it going to be? It's going to be in Tulsa, Jerusalem, Oklahoma. So it says Tulsa, Jerusalem. Uh, it's... I'm really trying to rebrand Tulsa as Tulsa Jerusalem, sort of like the Jerusalem of America. But if you go to, if you type in Thrive Time Show and Jinx, you can get a sneak peek or a look at our office facility. This is what it looks like. This is where you're headed. It's going to be a blasty blast. You can look inside, see the facility. We're going to have hundreds of entrepreneurs here. It is going to be packed. Now, for this particular event, folks, uh, the seating is always limited because my facility isn't a limitless um convention center you're coming to my actual home office and so it's going to be packed so when june 27th and 28th who you you're going to come who you I, I, i'm talking to you you can just get your tickets right now at thrivetimeshow.com and again you can name your price we tell people it's 250 dollars or whatever price you can afford and we do have some select vip tickets which gives you an access to meet some of the speakers and those sorts of things and those tickets are 500 dollars. it's a two-day interactive business workshop over 20 hours of business training we're going to give you a copy of my newest book the millionaire's guide to becoming sustainably rich you're going to leave with a workbook you're going to leave with everything you need to know to start and grow a super successful company it's practical it's actionable and it's tebow time right here in Tulsa, Jerusalem. Get those tickets today at thrivetimeshow.com. Again, that's thrivetimeshow.com. Hello, I'm Michael Levine.
and I'm talking to you right now from the center of Hollywood, California, where I have represented over the last 35 years 58 Academy Award winners, 34 Grammy Award winners, 43 New York Times bestsellers. I've represented a lot of major stars and I've worked with a lot of major companies. And I think I've learned a few things about what makes them work and what makes them not work. Now, why would a man living in Hollywood, California, in the beautiful sunny weather of LA, come to Tulsa? Because last year I did it and it was damn exciting. Clay Clark has put together an exceptional uh, presentation, really life-changing. And I'm looking forward to seeing you then. I'm Michael Levine, I'll see you in Tulsa. James, did I tell you my good friend John Lee Dumas is also joining us at the in-person two-day interactive Thrive Time Show Business Workshop? That Tim Tebow and that uh, Michael Levine will be at. Have I told you this? You have not told me that. Oh, he's coming all the way from Puerto Rico. This is John Lee Dumas, the host of the chart-topping EOFire.com podcast. He's absolutely a living legend. This guy started a podcast after uh, uh, wrapping up his service in the United States military. And he started recording this podcast daily in his home to the point where he started interviewing big time folks like Gary Vaynerchuk, like Tony Robbins. And he just kept interviewing bigger and bigger names, putting out shows day after day. And now he is the legendary host of the EO Fire podcast. And he's traveling all the way from Puerto Rico to Tulsa, Oklahoma to attend the in-person June 27th and 28th Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshop. If you're out there today, folks, you've ever wanted to grow a podcast, a broadcast, you want to get an, you want to improve your marketing, if you've ever wanted to improve your marketing, your branding, if you've ever wanted to increase your sales, you want to come to the two-day interactive June 27th and 28th Thrive Time Show business workshop featuring Tim Tebow, Michael Levine, John Lee Dumas, and countless big-time, super successful entrepreneurs. It's going to be life-changing. Get your tickets right now at thrivetimeshow.com. James, what website is that? thrivetimeshow.com. James, one more time for more enthusiasm. thrivetimeshow.com. Shine, everything rides on tonight. Even if I got three strikes, I'm going to go for it. This moment, we own it. Eh? I'm not to be played with because it could get dangerous. See, these people I ride with, this moment, we own it. Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops are the world's highest rated and most reviewed business workshops because we teach you what you need to know to grow. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business systems that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered. The reason why I've built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big uh, get rich quick, walk on hot coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. And I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying, but I want you to Google uh, the Z66 auto auction. I want you to Google elephant in the room. Look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same systems that we use in our own business can be used in your business. 
come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever, and we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you, and we're excited to see you. Now you may be thinking, what does it actually cost to attend an in-person two-day interactive Thrive Time Show business workshop? Well, good news. The tickets are $250 or whatever price that you can afford. What? Yes, they're $250 or whatever price you can afford. I grew up without money, and I know what it's like to live without money. So if you're out there today and you want to attend our in-person two-day interactive business workshop, all you got to do is go to thrivetimeshow.com to request those tickets. And if you can't afford $250, we have scholarship pricing available to make it affordable for you. I learned at the Academy in King's Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Whoa. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Harvard Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. Today I'm broadcasting from Phoenix, Arizona, not Scottsdale, Arizona. They're close, but they're completely different worlds. And uh, we have a special guest today. Uh, definition of intelligence is if you agree with me, you're intelligent. And so this gentleman is very intelligent. I've done this show before also, but very seldom do you find somebody who lines up on all counts. And so Mr. Clay Clark, he's a friend of a good friend, Eric, Eric Trump. But we're also talking about money, bricks, and how screwed up the world can get in a few and a half hour. So Clay Clark is a very intelligent man. And there's so many ways we could take this thing but I thought, uh, since you and Eric are close, Trump, what were you saying about what Trump can't, what Donald, who is my yeah. age, and I can say or cannot say? What, well, I have to, to first of all, I have to honor you, sir. I want to show you what I did to one of your books here. There's all a right. guy by the name of Jeremy Thorne, who was my boss at the time. I was 19 years old, working at Faith Highway. I had a job at Applebee's, Target, and DirecTV. And he said, have you read this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? And I said, no. And uh, my father, may he rest in peace, um, he didn't know these financial principles. So I started reading all of your books and uh, really devouring your books. And I went okay. from being an employee to self-employed to the business owner to the investor. And I owe a lot of that to you. And I just wanted to take a moment to tell you thank you so much for allowing me to, to, to achieve success. And then I'll tell you all about Eric Trump. But I just want to tell you, thank you, sir, for changing my life. Well, not only that, Clay, you know, thank you, but you've become an influencer. You know, more than anything else, you've evolved into an influencer where your word has more and more power. So that's why I uh, congratulate you on becoming. Because as you know, there's a lot of fake influencers out there, too, or bad influencers. Yeah. So anyway, I'm, well, I'm, I'm glad you and I agree so much. And thanks for reading my books. Yeah. That's, that's the greatest thrill for me today. Not thrill, but recognition is when people, young men especially, come up and say, I read your book, Changed My Life, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba, watch what a person does, not what they say. Whoa! Hey, I'm Ryan Wimpy, I'm originally from Tulsa, born and raised here. I went to a small private liberal arts college and got a degree in business. And I didn't learn anything like they're teaching here. I didn't learn linear workflows. I learned stuff that I'm not using and I haven't been using for the last nine years. So what they're teaching here is actually way better than what I got at business school. And I went what was actually ranked as a very good business school. The linear workflow, the linear workflow for us in getting everything out on paper and documented is really important. Um, like we have workflows that are kind of all over the place. So the having linear workflow and seeing that mapped out on multiple different boards uh, is pretty awesome. That's really helpful for me. The atmosphere here is awesome. I definitely just stared at the walls, figuring out how to make my facility look like this place. This place rocks. It's invigorating. The walls are super. Um, it's just very cool. The atmosphere is cool. The people are nice. Uh, it's a pretty cool place to be. Very good learning atmosphere. I literally want to model it and steal everything that's here at this facility and uh, basically create it just on our business side. Once I saw what they were doing, I knew I had to get here at the conference. This is probably the best conference or seminar I've ever been to in over 30 years of business. You're not bored. You're awake, alive the whole time. It's not pushy. They don't try to sell you a bunch of things. I was looking to learn how to just get control of my life, my schedule, 
and just get control of the business. Planning your time, breaking it all down, making time for the, you know, the F6 in your life, and just really implementing it and sticking with the program. It's really lively. He's they're pretty friendly, uh, helpful, and uh, very welcoming. I attended a conference a couple months back, and it was really the best business conference I've ever attended. At the workshop, I learned a lot about time management. I'm um, really prioritizing what's the most important. The biggest takeaways are, you know, you want to take a step-by-step -step approach to your business. Whether it's marketing, you know, what are those three marketing tools that you want to use to human resources. Now, some of the most successful people and successful businesses in this town, their owners were here today because they wanted to know more from Clay, and I found that to be kind of fascinating. The most valuable thing that I've learned is diligence. That businesses don't change overnight. It takes time and effort, and you gotta go through the ups and downs of getting it to where you wanna go. He actually gives you the road map out. I was stuck, didn't know what to do, and he gave me the road map out step by step. We've set up systems in the business that make my life much easier, allow me some time freedom. Here you can ask any question you want, they guarantee it'll be answered. See, this conference like motivates me, and also give me a lot of knowledge and tools. It's up to you to do this. Um, Everybody can do these things, they're, they're stuff that everybody knows, but if you don't do it, nobody else can do it for you. I can see the marketing working, and it, it's just an approach that makes sense. Probably the most notable thing is just the, the income increase that we've had. Everyone's super fun, it's super motivating. Uh, I've been here before, but I'm back again because it motivates me. Your competition's going to come eventually, or try to pick up these tactics, so you better, you, if you don't, somebody else will. I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine, and we just want to give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just want to say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you, and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house. Right? This is where we used to live a few years ago. This is our old neighborhood. So this is my old van and our old school marketing and this is our old team and by team I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing and this is our new team. We went from 4 to 14 and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman. So we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grew us 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month, and uh, we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship, and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you, times a thousand. So we really just want to thank you, Clay, and thank you, Vanessa, for everything you've done, everything you've helped us with. We love you guys. If you decide to not attend the Thrive Time Workshop, you're missing out on a great opportunity. The atmosphere at Clay's office is very lively. You can feel the energy as soon as you walk through the door. And it really got me and my team very excited. If you decide not to come, you're missing out on an opportunity to grow your business. Bottom line. Love the environment. I love the way that Clay presents and teaches. It's a way that not only allows me to comprehend what's going on, but he explains it in a way to where it just makes sense. The SEO optimization, branding, marketing, I've learned more in the last two days than I have the entire four years of college. The most valuable thing that I've learned Marketing is key. Uh, marketing is everything. Making sure that you're branded accurately and clearly. How to grow a business using Google reviews, 
and then just how to optimize our name through our website also. Helpful with uh, a lot of marketing, search engine optimization, um, uh, helping us really rank high in Google. The biggest thing I needed to learn was how to build my foundation, how to systemize everything and optimize everything, build my SEO. How to become more organized, uh, more efficient. How to make sure the business is really there to serve me as opposed to me constantly being there for the business. New ways of advertising my business as well as recruiting new employees. Group interviews, number one. Uh, before we felt like we were held hostage by our employees, group interviews has completely eliminated that because you're able to really find the people that would really be the best fit. Hands on how to hire people, how to deal with human resources, uh, a lot about marketing, and overall just how to structure the business, how it works for me, and also then how that can translate into working better for my clients. The most valuable thing I've learned here is time management. I like the one hour of doing your business. It is real critical if I'm going to grow and change. Play really teaches you how to navigate through those things and not only find freedom, but find your purpose in your business and find the purposes for all those other people that directly affect your business as well. Everybody. 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 Everyone. Everyone needs to attend the conference because you get an opportunity to see that it's real. Hey, Flyover family, come join us June the 27th and 28th, 2024 in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're going to be there with Clay Clark, an amazing group of individuals that have made such a difference in so many people's lives. Do you want to increase your production in the job? Do you want to make more sales? Do you want to own your own business? Do you want to have breakthroughs financially? The key to that is knowledge. Clay Clark is anointed to help people in business. We've watched him over the last couple of years and we've been blown away. He's part owner of over 160 businesses, $2.4 billion in sales. So before politics and, and the Great Reset came into Clay's life, he had the number one rated Apple podcast. And, and he interviewed people like Anthony Robbins, Seth Godin, the top authors, the top business minds in the world. At this specific event, there was an interesting cast of characters that come from gangs to American Idol. Some of the guests that are going to be there, Michael Levine, Colton Dixon, Peter Taunton, John Lee Dumas, Mondo De La Viga. And Tim Tebow. They're there to share what they've done and their breakthroughs and what their story is. And then Clay lays his map of business success, calls the path for every person to follow. So you may be sitting there thinking, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. What do I have to do? Go to thrivetimeshow.com. When you get there, the tickets are $250 or whatever you can afford. Yes, you got that right. $250 or whatever you can afford. You can name your price. So there are no excuses. You have to join us there. There are only a few VIP tickets left, like David said, special dinner uh, and special time with the speakers. That is $500 why they last. So $500, only a few left if you want a VIP ticket. We want to meet these speakers as well, so we got VIP tickets. I want to meet Tim Tebow. I do too. <laughs> The date is June the 27th and 28th, 2024 in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Go to thrivetimeshow.com to get your tickets. Oh Hey guys, Luke Erickson here with the Thrive Time Show. As you can see behind me, we've got all kinds of energy going on. People are starting to show up for the conference and it is hot in this place. We got grill guns over here, we've got people playing the drums, we've got a fire breather, and man, people are so excited as they come in. The conference is kicked off. This house is packed. We've got Aaron Hansis with Sean Holmes up there. We've got Steve Curry, Tim Toil, and the concepts up there. We're talking about what is possible when you just implement, when you implement, when you do the improvements. It's so exciting. People are going crazy. Now, Michael Levine, writer of many, many PR books, the man who represented people like Michael Jackson, Barbara Streisand, and George Bush. Speaking to the people here at our conference, talking about branding. One of the greatest branding experts alive today is here at our conference, talking to entrepreneurs. 
We just wrapped up day one. It was incredible. We had some, some remarkable speakers. Michael Levine, we just finished with a, a lady named Jill Donovan who owns a company called Rustic Cuff talking about the power of the Dream 100. I cannot wait to see what tomorrow holds. People are so excited to be here for day two. It is gonna be incredible. Cannot wait to see what today has in store. Right now, here at the conference, we've broken into groups going over search engine optimization. And I know for most of us, myself included, if you hear that term, you go, what is that? What does that mean? That's too techy for me. Well, our experts are breaking it down for people so that you can clearly understand how to come up top in Google. It's doable, it's possible. We're in the middle of a break, and what we like to do is we like to give you as much tangible and relevant information from about the start of the hour for 45 minutes. Then we take approximately a 15 minute break to allow people to connect with other entrepreneurs around them, bathroom breaks, and also use this time to just really digest all of the good information that you're receiving the whole time. Right behind me, we've got Bob with his grill gun melting an ice sculpture. It is awesome. The ice sculpture represents our life, right? It's here for a time, but we all need to have the sense of urgency to implement the things that we're learning so that we can make the most of the time that we have. We are outside. You can see a line behind me. What's going on is that we partner with different companies to help them implement the proven systems over and over and over again. And one of those companies is Master Machine. And so what we like to do is partner with these companies to also help them give samples to other people as they come to the conference and truly get their name out. I just wanted to recap some of the amazing things that have happened today. We've had entrepreneurs like Paul Hood with Hood CPAs. We've had Jill Donovan and Michael Levine come up and just impart so much wisdom and knowledge. We've got an incredible giveaway for one of our TVs. Hey there, Thrive Nation. One of the things that we love most about our business conferences is that we want every entrepreneur to leave with their questions answered. So what we do is we let them put the questions up on the board here so that they can ask their specific questions and Clay will not end the conference until every question is answered. Behind this, Clay Clarkson is answering all the different questions that entrepreneurs have brought to the conference. Whenever someone comes here and starts to hear this information, especially for the first time, it just brings about so much anticipation of wanting to actually implement the proven systems and processes. And so Clay always wants to make sure that he answers all of their questions so that they are the most set up for success to be able to go home and start implementing. If you have any questions, email us at info at thrivetimeshow.com. Hello, I'm Wes Carter. I'm one of the shareholders at Winters and King. My favorite thing that Thrive has helped me accomplish here in our firm is thinking a little bit outside of the box. They do SEO, they do printing, they help us with a lot of things to, from the day-to-day -day, um, marketing for the firm, but they also help us think of things that as attorneys we probably wouldn't normally think of that help us market our services to our clients. One of the things I love about working with Thrive is that they make it enjoyable to actually do work with them. It's not dry, it's usually fun, but it's always very enjoyable and practical. They give me things and ideas that I can put into place. It's not just some theoretical spiel that they give me. We get practical steps that we work on together to do my job better. So me personally, I would easily recommend Thrive 15 services to my friends, my families. I recommend them to my clients. Uh, I think they do a good job. They're passionate. They care about their clients. And I think it's actually a valuable service they provide to people that are in the business world.
My name is Jeff Thomas. I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, it's all about getting to the grindstone. It is about putting the... It's, it's one thing to have a specific vision or a dream, but knowledge without application is, isn't knowledge at all. It's a, that's nothing. Really funny. Uh, the atmosphere is very lively. Everybody that is working for Clay is uh, very upbeat and not tired, not sluggish, not complaining, not whining. They don't have anything to do with those types of characteristics. It's all about getting to the grind and having fun while you do it. I haven't actually been to any conferences in the past, but what I will say from what I've seen on YouTube and what from other friends have told me is this isn't like a motivational kind of thing to just, you know, hoo hoo, rah rah, get you motivated, but it's like practical steps that if you do take them, which most people aren't willing to do, then you will grow and you will you'll you'll achieve the specific things that you want. Well for one thing, I would say that this isn't necessarily for everyone. So if you're not willing to work, this isn't for you. But I will say that if you are willing to work and you 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 know you're just getting started but you have actually taken a step to in that direction, then this will actually help you grow further exponentially than, than you could ever imagine. My name is Taylor Hall. I'm the general manager of the Tulsa Oilers professional hockey team. You know, our goal every night here at the BOK Center is to try to fill the seats with, uh, with lots of people uh, and create a, you know, a, an exciting environment uh, so when somebody comes to a game, uh, they want to come back. Working with Clay and the staff at Thrive, uh, they've really helped uh, you know, us in many, many ways. Website and graphic design and video production and a lot of things that go along. And a lot of businesses, including ours, doesn't have a staff for a full-time you know, videographer or a graphic designer. But the biggest thing that we noticed was the needle mover. More sales, more attendance, uh, more successes in business. We had a record year last season working with Clay for the first time. Uh, our average attendance is higher uh, than it's ever been. Uh, so there was a lot of really cool things that we did and they worked. That's the nice thing about working with Clay and the team over there. It's just not one person, you get the entire team. If you need video uh, design and editing and production, they've got that. If you need graphic design, if you need some coaching, you know, your salespeople and call scripts, PR, uh, they offer all that. Clay was instrumental in helping guiding us uh, and getting us on the right track so that you know we could you know really you know raise the raise the bar and become ultra successful so it, it's been an, an amazing experience for us. My name is Caitlin. I own a tumbling gym called Justice Tumbling Company in Tulsa. Working with Clay is so helpful um, just being diligent with everything and making sure we execute our goals and really make things happen. Um, it's fun, it's high, um, it really gets you energized and going, it just makes you really want to work. To get the momentum going, to really just like get that buzz, and just really give you the energy to get up and make it happen. I'm uh, Bob Healy, I'm in the charcoal grilling industry and the name of my business is Grill Blazer. How will I apply what I've learned so far uh, into my business? I, I'm a, actually a client that uh, of, of Thrive 15 and I learn so much from what I'm learning at this conference and from my regular weekly attendance that it's helping me establish the business and get it off the ground. Clay's presentation style is just uh, blatant disregard for what anybody wants. He just has fun, it's him, everything that you see is, is authentically Clay. It's a great deal of fun, everybody enjoys it. They know when they walk in, they think they're coming into a carnival, and frankly they are, it's just great fun. There's not another conference like it. You, you just don't go to a carnival atmosphere and learn like you do here at a Thrive conference. It's great. The reason people should attend at least one of these conferences is because it's common sense. And everybody's fed an entire line about the way you should run a business, but until you actually experience running a business, which is, candidly, what you learn here, how to run a business, you don't know what you're doing. My name is Tyler Hastings and this is my wife, Rachel, and our company is Delrick Research uh, out of New Orleans. 
Uh, during our time working with Thrive, we've had numerous successes. Uh, when we first started, we were working with one physician. We had one research site, and we were seeing on average, you know, between 10 and 15 patients a week. Um, since working with Thrive in the last 18 months, we now have four research sites. We work with over five physicians, and on average, we're now seeing over 60 patients per week. Um, recently, we've been the top enroller worldwide in seven studies, um, which is just incredible considering where we were you know, two years ago, 18 months ago. Thrive really differs from the other conferences that we've been to and the other kind of programs that we've been through because they actually really practice what they preach and they implement the same systems and the processes that they teach you about and they give you real life examples that have really worked for them and show you with the training um, how to implement that yourself. For example, Tyler and I actually got the opportunity to come out to Tulsa and we're fortunate enough that the Thrive team took us out to some of the businesses that they own and we really got to see in real life, real time, some of the systems and processes and it was just incredible, um, a real life example of some of the businesses and the things that they're implementing. Having a coach is important to us. Um, they act as not only an accountability factor, um, but they're someone we can talk to on a daily basis as we go through the problems of running a business that inevitably come up. Um, they, they always understand what we're going through and they're always there uh, to you know, help us or guide us through the problems that we experience. The best part of our experience working with Thrive um, has just been seeing our relationship grow. So at each step as our business grows, you know, they have something else to provide us with. Um, they, they've got the resources, uh, whether it be marketing, graphic design, website development, or even into our accounting practices, maybe we need a new insurance policy. They have someone they can connect us with, or you know, they have the direct uh, resource we need to speak with for any of the problems we face. Uh, if someone's thinking about signing up for the coaching program, I would highly recommend that they call in for a free 30-minute coaching, coaching session um, and see exactly what the team can do for you. Just speak with someone, uh, let them know what you're going through, and I think you'll find that you know, regardless of what you need, there's someone there that can help you. Clay's presentation style uh, is very real and raw. Like, it just gets real down to the bone of it and the real purpose of it. There's no, like, fluffy vagueness about it, you know? So, he really gets to the point. I'm always reminded about how important it is to be intentional and to really, really pay attention to how you schedule your time and really honor it. Um, because whatever gets scheduled gets done. Uh, that's what he said from Lee, Lee Cockrell. So, um, just constantly hearing that and getting reminded uh, helps me to reinforce that into my own life. Um, it always helps to get an outside perspective, and especially from a guy that's uh, grown so many multi-million dollar businesses, it doesn't hurt. So. My name is Nick Guajardo. Uh, I heard about the Thrive Time Show workshop through um, Andy Matherin. He is my, uh, my Andy Matherin and Larry Montgomery. Um, they're my bosses at Restore Home Health. So I work with um, a home health com company called Restore Home Health. And my role is pr pretty much to bring in business. So I was hoping, hoping to learn kind of the sales process on top of just kind of the responsibilities and help understand what it looks like on the SEO side and just kind of on all around what it looks like to own a business because that's something I want to do in the future for sure. How I would describe the atmosphere here at Thrive um, is ex high energy, um, great professionalism, great people. It's just it's a place you definitely want to visit and be at. Clay's delivery style, humorous, professional, hilarious. Just he does it. I haven't seen someone do it better. So he does he does a great job. Most valuable thing I've learned so far. Um, a lot of it has been extremely valuable. So. But one, one thing that sort of really stuck out to me is the SEO, learning the SEO stuff. I mean, that is, I think, things you don't um, really even think about, and then you hear it, and you think you know it, but you don't know it. So I feel like that was the most valuable. Well, they're, listening on, they're missing out on just come down to just ba basic applications to be a business owner. I mean, I feel like it's like an absolute necessity, you know, to come here and learn 
the the ins and outs, and may, maybe come here once and twi or twice if they you know take good notes that kind of thing. Why to just to, it's the experience here and what you can learn, like absolutely. So marketing and SEO seemed like something that would be very scary, um, but then in the way that Clay and his team described it, it became very clear and concise, and something that's very accessible to any business owner. Uh, I've learned a lot about marketing at this conference and a lot about business management and HR. Really everything, the key components of anybody's business, they're going to give you the best tools to be successful in it. So most workshops or conferences can be really boring, really one note, or they just seem so theatrical that it's a joke and it's not even giving you the tools that you need or that you came there for. But here it's still high energy, it's still fun, um, everything's to the point, but it's very professional. And uh, yeah, uh, you're missing out on easy uh, steps to use in your business that are very accessible and very clear. My name is Abigail McCarter. The best thing I've learned so far is definitely like organization, schedule wise, always keeping a to do list, keeping your calendar organized. I'm kind of all over the place, so that's always good to know. So, Clay's presentation style and the atmosphere is electric. It's so energetic, it's so fun, um, plays hilarious, but also knows a ton, so it's just really great all around. This conference is much different than any other conference I've gone to, again because it's fun. Like a lot of other conferences, you're, it's like really quiet, really cold, and you just kind of get bored, um, but this one you're like always engaged, you're always learning something, and they're, they're, the staff is amazing, um, they're always super helpful, so it's just been really great. My name is Clint Howell. We're a personal training and fitness training facility. Oh wow, I'm learning a ton. Uh, like this morning so far has been search engine optimization. So really just the importance of being at the top of Google, um, how Google works and why it's so important to go out and get video reviews and, and uh, testimonials and getting uh, Google reviews. And so all those things we can take back and really apply that like immediately. So it's really cool to see um, not only how to do it, but really the relevance and importance of it in your long-term strategy of your business. No, it's amazing. Actually, on the way in this morning and yesterday, I was videoing as I was walking in the front entrance. Uh, and actually, me, I, I go to a lot of seminars. I go to a lot of conferences, masterminds. I've been doing that since I was like 22 years old. So, uh, gosh, almost 20 years now. And uh, this is by far the most entertaining. Uh, not only the content, the content's amazing, but Clay and you guys do a great job of mixing in uh, edutainment, entertainment, where it's fun, it's fresh, it's lively. Uh, you never get bored. And um, I heard a study one time that um, re the reason that children learn so much quicker is because it's fun, learning is fun. And so obviously Clay has nailed that, where it's very fun to be here and uh, keeps you awake, keeps you energized. So I'm having a blast. Yeah, I think, I think any business owner or someone that wants to own a business or considering owning and starting a business should definitely come. I know that I've, I've, I was referred here by friends of mine and clients of mine, and I've referred other people. Uh, again, just to understand what it takes to make a business successful, uh, to have a good time, obviously, you know, like I was just saying, have fun, and network. There's a lot of people here you can learn from, and there's a lot of breaks you can talk to other people. Uh, so I think this is a must attend for anybody that owns a business or that wants to start a business. My name's Jamie Fagel, I'm with Jameson Fine Cabinetry. I heard about the conference through Andrew, he's uh, the coach that I, I deal with here at the Thrive. The most valuable piece I found, even working with Andrew, but it's been solidified when it came here, was you gotta actually do the things that they're telling you. Uh, with no action, you're not gonna get anything from it. I would highly recommend this to almost anybody in business today. Um, I have recommended it to some of my other business partners. Um, it's phenomenal, it's really something that if you want to start a business, the old way of doing things is done. This is what you got to do. It's the only way it'll work. Hey, this is Charles and Amber Kola. We're the owners of Kola Fitness. The way we're able to do that is working with Clay for the last three years. He has really um, readjusted our thinking and taught us that our business is here to serve us. And by doing that, we're able to live the lifestyle we want and take off on a random vacation last minute. We had totally planned on being at the conference, so wish we could be there and meet all of you. Hope you, I, we know you're having a great time. So yes, come. Clay in the last three years has helped us build all the necessary systems, checklists, workflows, task lists, time blocks, audits. 
that are always running and the right capable lieutenants to keep track of all that so that you too can get time freedom and financial freedom. And that's what we have done and Clay has helped us do. We've got multiple companies in multiple states and they're all doing very well, getting ready to go two more locations in this next year. And Co-op Fitness has a really big future. We're teaming up with a couple other groups and we should scale the company here shortly. Hopefully we'll open like 50 locations in the next 10 years. So, but yeah, we're on the way. We're gonna probably more than double our company, maybe triple our company in the next eight to nine months. And it's just awesome. God is working in our business and we're making Jesus and changing lives. We're a strong Christian company that focuses on making Jesus famous and changing lives in the fitness field. And this is Charles and Amber Cola. Thank you, Thrive. Hit your action items. We love you guys. Yeah. We wish we were there. You guys bye have a wonderful bye. day. Bye-bye. My name is Jennifer Johnson. Um, I'm in the pest control industry and also weed control fertilization. And my business is Platinum Pest and Lawn. Um, some of the things that... Uh, I'll be able to apply a lot of the things that I've learned in our business because this is not my first conference and so a lot of the things that we learned we've put into place and now we're doing the next level of refining the processes or uh, just the different concepts and so it's getting better and better. Things that were just big processes before, we, we have the foundation laid and now we're able to make it better and better and I'm hearing different things now that we've implemented things and so we can just make it even better uh, implementing it into our own business. Oh. Clay's presentation and the atmosphere is very exciting and fun. It keeps you awake. Um, it makes it interesting. You have a lot of information, but if it's not going to be entertaining, your brain is going to tune it out. What? But Clay makes it just entertaining enough that you retain what you learn. Lots of rhyming and catch, catchy things so that you remember stuff. What makes you Something that makes this conference different than other workshops or conferences that I've been to is that there's a lot of people here in my same situation. We're all, most of us are pretty small businesses wanting to improve um, and we want real life information and, and something that will work and that's attainable and not just some crazy magic formula but actual action items that we can implement in our business and actually see a difference. Everyone should attend a Thrive Time Business Conference, whether you're a business owner or not. A, if you're a business owner, it has practical applications that you can apply to so many different parts of your business, and then you need to come back for more so that you can keep doing more of the wonderful things that you learn. But secondly, I am also a mom of three kids, and a lot of the concepts can actually be applied to home, like getting routines and getting um, uh, setting systems at home has just seriously made a huge difference in my life at home. So I've been able to improve our business, but I've also been able to improve things at home. And so that's why everyone should come, no matter what your station is in life. Yeah, my name is Nolan Q. I'm originally from San Francisco, California. The industry that I'm in is uh, financial services. I've learned a ton so far, but what I can best apply uh, from this conference is the opportunity, that, that hunger to go out there and make a big difference uh, in my industry. Clay's presentation style is amazing. He's got an endless amount of energy. It's, uh, it's contagious. And yeah, by being here, I really do want to, uh, to go back and be able to face all the adversity that the industry has. Yeah, this conference, uh, the thing that makes it different is that it's special because it has a unique set of individuals uh, that all share that same energy. I think he pegs it as uh, dragon energy, but yeah, that, uh, that everyone should come to multiple, but uh, their first would be very special. Yeah, you're welcome with a lot of enthusiasm that's a, that'll last for a long time. My name is Gabriella Cruz. Our business is ECS Electric. Um, my husband's the owner, but um, I'm involved with that, and so we're an electrical company. Well, um, here at the conference, they talk a lot about consistency, um, and so just staying consistent with different um, different things in the business, and I feel like applying that to our business model will really help us um, grow. Um, the atmosphere is very positive, um, uplifting, and then it's um, very fun and energetic, and so it gets you gets you pumped and it gets you excited um, and it encourages you to do big things. Uh, probably how real they are. They tell you up front what you need to do and what's like a no-go and some com conferences are they kind of sugarcoat things so I like how real they are here. I think it'll definitely, if you want your business to grow, I think this would be a great um, 
a great experience and then not only that it'll um, encourage you and inform you on so many things you don't think about on a daily basis. Hey, I'm Ryan Wimpy. I'm originally from Tulsa, born and raised here. I've definitely learned a lot about life design and making sure the business serves you. The linear workflow, the linear workflow for us and getting everything out on paper and documented is really important. Um, like we have workflows that are kind of all over the place. So the having linear workflow and seeing that mapped out on multiple different boards uh, is pretty awesome. That's really helpful for me. The atmosphere here is awesome. I definitely just stared at the walls figuring out how to make my facility look like this place. This place rocks. It's invigorating. The walls are super, um, it's just very cool. The atmosphere is cool. The people are nice. Uh, it's a pretty cool place to be. Very good learning atmosphere. I literally want to model it and steal everything that's here at this facility and uh, basically create it just on our business side. Play is hilarious. I literally laughed so hard that I started having tears yesterday um, and we've been learning a lot which you know we've been sitting here we've been learning a lot and so the humor definitely definitely helps it breaks it up um, but the content is awesome off the charts and it's very interactive you can raise your hand it's not like uh, you're just listening to the professor speak you know the wizard teaches but the wizard interacts and he takes questions so that's awesome if you're not attending the conference you're missing about three quarters to half of your life um, you're definitely it's, it's probably worth a couple thousand dollars. So you're missing the thought process of someone that's already started, like nine profitable businesses. So not only is it a lot of good information, but just getting in the thought process of Clay Clark or Dr. Zellner or any of the other coaches, getting in the thought process of how they're starting all these businesses, to me, just that is, is priceless. That's, that's money. Well, we're definitely not getting upsold here. Um, my wife and I have attended conferences where they ups where it was great information, and then they upsold us like half the conference. And I don't want to like bang my head into a wall, and she's like banging her head into the chair in front of her. Like it's good information, but we're like, oh my gosh, I want to strangle you. Shut up and go with the presentation that we paid for, and that's not here. There's no upsells or anything, so that's awesome. I hate that. It, oh, it makes me angry. So glad that's not happening. So the cost of this conference is quite a bit cheaper than business college. Um, I went to a small private liberal arts college and got a degree in business and I didn't learn anything like they're teaching here. I didn't learn linear workflows. I learned stuff that I'm not using and I haven't been using for the last nine years. So what they're teaching here is actually way better than what I got at business school. And I went what was actually ranked as a very good business school. I would definitely recommend that people would check out the Thrive 15 conference. It's the information that you're going to get is just very, very beneficial, and the mindset that you're going to get, that you're going to leave with, is just absolutely worth the price of a little bit of money and a few days worth of your time. I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine, and we just want to give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just want to say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you, and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house. Right? This is where we used to live a few years ago. This is our old neighborhood. See? It's uh, nice, right? So this is my old van and our old school marketing. And this is our old team. And by team, I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing, and this is our new team. We went from four to 14, and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past, and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman, so we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts, and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grew us 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now, it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month, and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship, and we're really thankful that 
You guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you times a thousand. So we really just want to thank you, Clay, and thank you, Vanessa, for everything you've done, everything you've helped us with. We love you guys. Hello, my name is Charles Kolaw with Kolaw Fitness. Uh, today, I want to tell you a little bit about Clay Clark and how I know Clay Clark. Clay Clark has been my business coach since 2017. He's helped us grow from two locations to now six locations. We're planning to do seven locations in seven years and then franchise. And Clay has done a great job of helping us navigate anything that has to do with like running the business, building the systems, the checklists, the workflows, the audits, um, how to, how to um, navigate lease agreements, how to uh, buy property, um, how to uh, work with brokers and builders. This guy is just amazing. He's, he's This kind of guy has worked in every single industry. He's written books with like Lee Crockerell, head of Disney with the 40,000 cast members. Um, he's friends with like Mike Lindell. Um, he does Reawaken America tours where he does these tours all across the country where 10,000 or more people show up to some of these tours on the day to day he does anywhere from uh, about 160 companies he's at the top he has a team of uh, business coaches videographers gra and graphic designers and web developers and they run 160 companies every single week so think of this guy with a team of business coaches running 160 companies so in the weekly he's running 160 companies um, every six to eight weeks, he's doing Reawaken America tours. Every six to eight weeks, he's also doing business conferences where 200 people show up and he teaches people a 13 step proven system that he's done and worked with billionaires, helping them grow their companies. Um, so he's, I've seen guys from startups go from startup to being multimillionaires, um, teaching people how to get time freedom and financial freedom through the system critical thinking, document creation, um, making it, putting it into, uh, or organizing everything in their head to building into a, a franchisable, scalable business. Like one of his businesses has like 500 franchises. That's just one of the companies or brands that he works with. So amazing guy, Elon Musk kind, kind of like smart guy. Um, he kind of comes off sometimes as socially awkward, but he's so brilliant and he's taught me so much. When I say that, like, like, Clay is like, he doesn't care what people think when you're talking to him. He cares about where you're going in your life and where he can get you to go. Um, and that's what I like the most about him. He's like, he's like a, a good coach. A coach isn't just making you feel good all the time. A coach is actually helping you get to the best you. And Clay has been an amazing business coach. Through the course of that, we became friends. Um, my, I was really most impressed with him is when I was shadowing him one time. Um, we went into a business deal and listened to it. I, I got to shadow and listen to it. And when we walked out, I knew that he could make millions on the deal. And they were super excited about working with him. And he told me, he's like, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to turn it down. Um, because he knew it was going to harm the common good of people in the long run. And uh, the guy's integrity um, just really wowed me. Uh, it brought tears to my eyes to see that this guy, his, he doesn't, his highest desire was to do what's right. And um, uh, anyways, just, just, just an amazing man. So anyways, impacted me a lot. Um, he's helped navigate. Anytime I've gotten nervous or worried about uh, how to run the company or uh, you know, navigating competition and, 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 and an economy that's like, I remember we got closed down for three months. He helped us navigate on how to stay open, how to, how to get back open, how to um, uh, just survive through all the COVID shutdowns, lockdowns, because our clubs were all closed for three months and you have $350,000 of bills you've got to pay and uh, we have no accounts receivable. He helped us navigate that. Um, and of course we were conservative enough that we could afford to, to take that on for a period of time. But it was, uh, anyways, great man. I'm very imp impressed with him. So Clay, thank you for everything you're doing. And um, I encourage you if, you, if you haven't ever worked with Clay, work with Clay, he's gonna help magnify you. And there's nobody I have ever met that has the ability to work as hard as he does. He probably sleeps four, maybe six hours a day and literally the rest of the time he's working and he can outwork everybody in the room every single day and and he loves it so anyways um this is charles cola with cola fitness thank you clay um, and anybody out there that's wanting to work with clay um, it's a great great uh, opportunity to ever work with him so you guys have a blessed one this is charles cola we'll see you guys bye bye hi i'm aaron antis with shaw homes i first heard about clay through a mortgage lender here in town who had told me what a great job he had been doing for them and i actually noticed he was driving a lamborghini all of a sudden so i was willing to listen uh, in my career i've sold a little over 800 million dollars in real estate so honestly, I thought I kind of knew everything about marketing and um, homes. 
And then I met Clay, and my perception of what I knew and what I could do definitely changed. After doing $800 million in sales over a 15-year career, I really thought I knew what I was doing. I've been managing a large team of salespeople for the last 10 years here with Shaw Homes. And, I mean, we've been a company that's been in business for 35 years. We've become one of the largest builders in the Tulsa area, and uh, that was without Clay. So when I came to know Clay, I really thought, man, there's not much more I need to know, but I'm willing to listen. The interesting thing is our internet leads from our website has actually in a four month period of time has gone from somewhere around 10 to 15 leads in a month to 180 internet leads in a month. Just from the few things that he's shown us how to implement that I honestly probably never would have come up with on my own. So. Uh, I got a lot of good things to say about the system that Clay put in place with us, and it's just been an incredible experience. I am very glad that we met and had the opportunity to work with Clay. So the interaction with the team and with Clay on a weekly basis is honestly very enlightening. One of the things that I love about Clay's perspective on things is that he doesn't come from my industry. He's not somebody who's in the home building industry. I've listened to all the experts in my field. Our company has paid for me to go to seminars, international builder shows, all kinds of places where I've had the opportunity to learn from the experts in my industry. But the thing that I found working with Clay is that he comes from such a broad spectrum of working with so many different types of businesses that he has a perspective that's difficult for me to gain because I get so entrenched in what I do, I'm not paying attention to what other leading industry experts are doing. And Clay really brings that perspective for me. It is very valuable time every week when I get that hour with him. From my perspective, the reason that any business owner who's thinking about hooking up with Thrive needs to definitely consider it is because the results that we've gotten in a very short period of time are honestly monumental. It has really exceeded my wildest expectation of what he might be able to do. I came in skeptical because I'm very pragmatic and as I've gone through the process over just a few months, I've realized it's probably one of the best moves we've ever made. I think a lot of people probably feel like they don't need a business or marketing consultant because they maybe are a little bit prideful and like to think they know everything. I know that's how I felt coming in. I mean, we're a big company that's definitely one of the largest in town. And so we kind of felt like we knew what we were doing. And I think for a lot of people, they let their ego get in the way of listening to somebody that might have a better or different perspective than theirs. I would just really encourage you if you're thinking about working with Clay, I mean, the thing is, it's month to month. Go give it a try and see what happens. I think in the 35 year history of Shaw Homes, this is probably the best thing that's happened to us. And I know if you give them a shot, I think you'll feel the same way. I know for me, the thing I would have missed out on if I didn't work with Clay is I would have missed out on literally an 1,800% increase in our internet leads, going from 10 a month to 180 a month, that would have been a huge financial decision to just decide not to give it a shot. I would absolutely recommend Clay Clark to anybody who's thinking about working with somebody in marketing. I would skip over anybody else you were thinking about and I would go straight to Clay and his team. I guarantee you're not going to regret it because we sure haven't. My name is Danielle Sprick and I am the founder of D. Sprick Realty Group here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. After being a stay-at-home mom for 12 years and my three kids started school and they were in school full-time, I was at a crossroads and trying to decide what what do I want to do? My degree and my background is in education, but after being a mom and staying home and all of that, I just didn't have a passion for it like I once did. My 
husband suggested real estate. He's a home builder, so real estate and home building go hand in hand, and we just rolled with it. I love people, I love working with people, I love the building relationships, um, but one thing that was really difficult for me was the business side of things. The processes and the advertising and marketing, I knew that I did not have what I needed to make that what it should be. So I reached out to Clay at that time and he and his team have been extremely instrumental in helping us build our brand, um, help market our business, our agents, the homes that we represent, everything that we do uh, is a direct line from Clay and his team and all that they've done for us. We launched our brokerage, our real estate brokerage, eight months ago. And in that time, we've gone from myself and one other agent to just this week, we signed on our 16th agent. Um, we have been blessed with the fact that we right now have just over 10 million in pending transactions. Three years ago, I never would have even imagined that I would be in this role that I'm in today, building a business, having 16 agents, but I have to give credit where credit's due, and Clay and his team and the business coaching that they've offered us has been huge. It's been instrumental in what we're doing. Don't ever limit your vision. When you dream big, big things happen. I started a business because I couldn't work for anyone else. I do things my way. Um, I do what I think is in the best interest of the patient. I don't answer to insurance companies. I don't answer to large corporate organizations. I answer to my patient and that's it. My thought when I opened my clinic was I can do this all myself. Uh, I don't need additional outside help in many ways. I, I mean, I, I went to medical school, I can figure this out. But it was a very, very steep learning curve. Within the first six months of opening my clinic, I had a $63,000 embezzlement. Um, I lost multiple employees. Clay helped us weather the storm of some of the things that are just a lot of people experience, especially in the medical world. He was instrumental in helping with the specific written business plan. He's been instrumental in hiring good quality employees, using the processes that he outlines for getting in good talent, which is extremely difficult. He helped me in securing the business loans. He helped me with uh, web development and search engine optimization. We've been able to really keep a steady stream of clients coming in uh, because they found us on the web. With everything that I encountered, everything that I experienced, I, I quickly learned it is worth every penny to have someone in your team that can walk you through and even avoid some of the pitfalls that are almost invariable in starting your own business. I'm Dr. Chad Edwards and I own Revolution Health and Wellness Clinic. The conference has kicked off. This house is packed. We've got Aaron Hansis with Shaw Holmes up there. We've got Steve Curry, Tim Tolan, and the concepts up there talking about what is possible when you just implement, when you implement, when you do the proven system. So exciting. People are going crazy. Now, Michael Levine, writer of many, many PR books, the man who represented people like Michael Jackson, Barbara Streisand, and George Bush. Speaking to the people here at our conference, talking about branding. One of the greatest branding experts alive today is here at our conference, talking to entrepreneurs. We just wrapped up day one. It was incredible. We had some some remarkable speakers. Michael Levine. We just finished with a, a lady named Jill Donovan who owns a company called Rustic Cuff, talking about the power of the Dream 100. I cannot wait to see what tomorrow holds. People are so excited to be here for day two. It is gonna be incredible. Cannot wait to see what today has in store.
right now here at the conference we've broken into groups going over search engine optimization. And I know for most of us, myself included, if you hear that term, you go, what is that? What does that mean? That's too techy for me. Well, our experts are breaking it down for people so that you can clearly understand how to come up top in Google. It's doable. It's possible. Now we're in the middle of a break and what we like to do is we like to give you as much tangible and relevant information from about the start of the hour for 45 minutes. Then we take approximately a 15 minute break to allow people to connect with other entrepreneurs around them, bathroom breaks, and also use this time to just really digest all of the good information that you're receiving the whole time. Right behind me, we've got Bob with his grill gun, melting an ice sculpture. It is awesome. The ice sculpture represents our life, right? It's here for a time, but we all need to have the sense of urgency to implement the things that we're learning so that we can make the most of the time that we have. We are outside, you can see a line behind me. What's going on is that we partner with different companies to help them implement the proven systems over and over and over again. And one of those companies is Master Machine. And so what we like to do is partner with these companies to also help them give samples to other people as they come to the conference and truly get their name out. I just wanted to recap some of the amazing things that have happened today. We've had entrepreneurs like Paul Hood with Hood CPA Jill Donovan and Michael Levine come up and just impart so much wisdom and knowledge. We've got an incredible giveaway for one of our TVs. Hey there, Thrive Nation. One of the things that we love most about our business conferences is that we want every entrepreneur to leave with their questions answered. So what we do is we let them put the questions up on the board here so that they can ask their specific questions and Clay will not end the conference until every question is answered. Behind this, Clay Clarkson is answering all the different questions that entrepreneurs have brought to the conference. Whenever someone comes here and starts to hear this information, especially for the first time, it just brings about so much anticipation of wanting to actually implement the proven systems and processes. And so Clay always wants to make sure that he answers all of those questions so that they are the most set up for success to be able to go home and start implementing. If you have any questions, email us at info at thrivetimeshow.com. We have come to the end of the 2019 Christmas conference. It was incredible. These entrepreneurs have gotten so many tangible things that they can go and they can implement. Check us out for more information at thrivetimeshow.com. And as we always like to do, we want to end with a boom. Three, two, one, boom. Once I saw what they were doing, I knew I had to get here at the conference. This is probably the best conference or seminar I've ever been to in over 30 years in business. You're not bored. You're awake, alive the whole time. It's not pushy. They don't try to sell you a bunch of things. I was looking to learn how to just get control of my life, my schedule, and just get in control of business. Planning your time, breaking it all down, making time for the, you know, the F6 in your life, and just really implementing it and sticking with the program. It's really lively. He's, they're pretty friendly, uh, helpful, and very welcoming. I attended a conference a couple months back, and it was really the best business conference I've ever attended. At the workshop, I learned a lot about time management, um, really prioritizing what's the most important. The biggest takeaways are, you know, you want to take a step-by-step -step approach to your business. So whether it's marketing, you know, what are those three marketing tools that you want to use to human resources. Now, some of the most successful people and successful businesses in this town, their owners were here today because they wanted to know more from Clay, and I found that to be kind of fascinating. The most valuable thing that I've learned is diligence, that businesses don't change overnight. It takes time and effort and you gotta go through the ups and downs of getting it to where you wanna go. He actually gives you the road map out. I was stuck, didn't know what to do, and he gave me the road map out step by step. We've set up systems in the business that make my life much easier, allow me some time freedom. Here you can ask any question you want, they guarantee it'll be answered. This conference like motivates me and also gives me a lot of knowledge and tools. It's up to you to do this. Um, everybody can 
do these things, they're, they're stuff that everybody knows, but if you don't do it, nobody else can do it for you. I can see the marketing working. And it, it's just an approach that makes sense. Probably the most notable thing is just the, the income increase that we've had. Everyone's super fun, it's super motivating. Uh, I've been here before, but I'm back again because it motivates me. Your competition's going to come eventually or try to pick up these tactics. So you better, you, if you don't, somebody else will. If you decide to not attend the Thrive Time Workshop, you're missing out on a great opportunity. The atmosphere of Clay's office is very lively. You can feel the energy as soon as you walk through the door. And it really got me and my team very excited. If you decide not to come, you're missing out on an opportunity to grow your business. Bottom line. Love the environment. I love the way that Clay presents and teaches. It's a way that not only allows me to comprehend what's going on, but he explains it in a way to where it just makes sense. The SEO optimization, branding, marketing, I've learned more in the last two days than I have the entire four years of college. The most valuable thing that I've learned Marketing is key. Uh, marketing is everything. Making sure that you're branded accurately and clearly. How to grow a business using Google reviews and then just how to optimize our name through our website also. Helpful with uh, a lot of marketing, search engine optimization, um, uh, helping us really rank high in Google. The biggest thing I needed to learn was how to build my foundation, how to systemize everything and optimize everything, build my SEO. How to become more organized, uh, more efficient. How to make sure the business is really there to serve me, as opposed to me constantly being there for the business. New ways of advertising my business, as well as recruiting new employees. Group interviews, number one. Uh, before we felt like we were held hostage by our employees, group interviews has completely eliminated that because you're able to really find the people that would really be the best fit. Hands on how to hire people, how to deal with human resources, um, a lot about marketing, and overall just how to structure the business, how it works for me, and also then how that can translate into working better for my clients. The most valuable thing I've learned here is time management. I like the one hour of doing your business is real critical if I'm going to grow and change. Play really teaches you how to navigate through those things and not only find freedom, but find your purpose in your business and find the purposes for all those other people that directly affect your business as well. Everybody. 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 Everyone. Everyone needs to attend the conference because you get an opportunity to see that it's real.